Hello everyone, I'm Katrina and today on Sigma Made Simple, I'm going to walk you through an example use case I ran into recently about how to calculate a rolling total or rolling value within Sigma. For this example, I have a really simple data set where I have my regions and my quotas listed quarterly and I want to compare this to my sales value. You'll notice that I do have some dates into the future, and that's part of what we want to address is how do we show that cumulative or rolling value so that Sigma will help us understand if we're heading in the right direction or not. To walk you through this table, you can see I have three different group by statements. And this is important because I not only want to calculate my current quarter or each quarter's value, but I would like for that value to reset every year and every region. So for our group by statement, it is what is the quarterly total for each quarter, year, and region. This column represents my sum of sales. Very simple, just a sum of the sales value in my underlying data set. I have a quarterly quota. So again, each quarter, there's an individual value that each region or each individual needs to get in order to hit their quota. But the thing we want to calculate is what happens if they miss quota or go over quota. We do want that value to kind of continue or carry over from one quarter to the next. So you can see here, I have calculated the difference from each quarter, a very simple quarterly quota minus the quarterly sales. So you can see how some years the regions sell more than their quota and other times they're under. But how do we show this at a year level so we can see how things are trending? To do this, we're going to use a leg function where we are going to pull in the previous row's value. So basically what this calculation is doing is saying, look back one row based off of how I have it ordered here and pull in that value. So again, we can see that there's no value for a previous quarter. Our data just starts in 2019, but we are seeing the previous rows value listed here. You'll note that it does reset each year. And this is one of the handy features of Sigma's group by statements is that it allows you to create this structure, but then also interrupt or break that structure whenever you want to or need to. So again, we do want to have that value represented through each year but then reset every year. So how do we calculate the rolling difference? Next, we're gonna add a calculation that basically says, pull in the previous difference plus the quarterly quota. So here we can see that an individual's quota for the first quarter of this first year is 36.4 million. And since they sold over quota, they went to a difference of 16 million. We want to add that back in towards the value that they have, but also add in the next quarter value. So this is going to be, this value is going to be the sum of the first quarter, second quarter, minus the sales that were listed in there. If you didn't catch, the leg function is really dependent on the order of a table. So you'll note that I do have everything sorted by quarter, and then I added to my title, don't change the sort order. This is a handy trick that I use just as a mental note to myself to say, hey, this is important for this order to be in a specific way. And then I always create a child table off of that value. This allows Sigma to kind of copy and paste those values or to use only the results of those values. So I can change my sort order as much as I want in this table and it's not going to recalculate my values. They're locked in in the previous parent element. And now we can come down to our visual and we can show how we can see the rolling sum or the how the calculation carries over the value from the previous quarter into the next quarter. So when an individual or a region sells more than their quota, this orange line or the dotted line, we can see that the rolling quarter value goes down and then goes up when they miss and continues on that way. You can see that Sigma makes it really easy to calculate rolling and cumulative and moving sums based off of how you have your data structured. And again, it's very flexible and lets you determine how and when you want to interrupt those calculations. Again, you can set quarter, year, and individual region levels. There's a lot of other functions built in around cumulative, moving, and the lead and the leg functions. They can be really powerful. 
so be sure to check out the documentation that I'll attach below. Thanks for following along on this Sigma Made Simple.